Number 9. On May 26, 1934, a streamlined stainless steel diesel train called the Zephyr set the world's nonstop long distance speed record for trains. Its run from Denver to Chicago took 13 hours, 4 minutes, and 58 seconds, and was witnessed by more than a million people along the route. The total distance traveled was 1,633.8 kilometers. What is its average speed in kilometers per hour and meters per second? All right, so let's focus on the question. It's asking us for average speed, right? So we know that speed is simply going to be equal to the distance that's traveled divided by the time it took to travel that distance, right? So I need to calculate, and generally speaking in physics, right, distance is represented in meters, Time is represented in seconds, so generally meters per second is the standard unit for uh, speed. However, though, there's no law that says it has to be that way. And we can represent it in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meters per second, a whole bunch of stuff, right? So uh, in this particular case, they want, it, they want us to represent it in kilometers per hour and uh, meters per second. So let's first take a look at what we're given in terms of the distance, right? So the distance that they give us is 1,633.8 kilometers. So I know that that's the distance, 1,633.8 kilometers. Now, in order for me to solve this in kilometers per hour, I need to know the time value in hours. Now, they gave us a time value of 13 hours and then four minutes and 58 seconds, right? So what we can do is we can basically look at this as we know that it's going to be at least 13 hours, okay? We know we have four minutes. The question is though, how many hours is that? And we also know we're dealing with 58 seconds. And the other question is how many hours is that as well? So what we can do is simply take four minutes, convert it into the number of hours, take 58 seconds, convert it into the number of hours, and then we're actually just gonna add up all these hours, all right? And it'll be 13 and change, as you will see. So let's do that. So let's do four minutes, I'll do it down here. Four minutes times minutes on the bottom, hours on the top, right? Minutes on the bottom because I want the units to cancel there. So now you just gotta think how many minutes are in an hour. Right, 60 minutes in an hour. Minutes go bye-bye. So now all you have to do is do that division, do four divided by 60. Comes out to a repeating decimal, right? 0 0.06 repeating. So that's that works, that's in hours. Okay, now we gotta do the same process for this 58 seconds, right? So let's do that. So we got 58 seconds, but now we have to convert that into hours. Now you might know how many seconds there are in an hour, if you're strange. Uh, and if you are strange, that would be 3,600 seconds in one hour. If you didn't know that, no big deal, right? You would just go from seconds to minutes. For every one minute, there's 60 seconds. And then notice how the seconds would cancel. Then you have to have minutes down here and hours on the top. And for every one hour, there's 60 minutes. So notice that when you do the math here, 60 times 60 is the 3,600, and that's basically how we would know that there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. All right, so simply take 58, divide it by 3,600, or divide it by 60 twice. Doesn't really make a difference how you look at it, but this would be 0 0.0161 repeating. All right, so that's now hours. So now what we have to do to find the total number of hours, we're just gonna simply add them all together. All right, so, we're gonna take the 13 hours that we had originally, add this and add this together to find the total number of hours. So let's erase this now. And we'll take 13 plus then the 0 0.06 decimal repeating plus then this 0 0.01611 blah, blah, blah. And the answer works out to be now about 13.082, looks like seven repeating. Now, just simply do the division. 1633.8 divided by then that answer of 13 no, 0 0.02, uh, excuse me, 0 0.0827. And we're gonna come up with 124.88 now. Uh, kilometers per hour. And if you leave it as just H as I have here or HR, it doesn't really make a difference, all right? But that would be now the answer in kilometers per hour. So um, from here now, we have a choice of how we can look at this. Um, we could do this conversion a whole bunch of ways. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this value now and convert this into meters uh, per second. So the way, uh, and by the way, there are several ways to, to do this, right? So let me just get rid of some of this stuff here because we don't really need that anymore. Hopefully your semester is off to a rockin' start. Right, now. 
let's take the uh, kilometer per hour and convert into meters per second. So how I like to look at this is we're gonna deal with 124.88 kilometers per hour. And I need to convert this into now meters per second. All right, meters per second. I view this in a three-step process. First, convert kilometers to minutes. What? Yeah, convert kilometers to minutes. Have fun with that one. Convert kilometers to, I was gonna say miles, what the heck? <laughs> Must be late. Um, convert kilometers to meters. There we go. Then convert hours into seconds. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this division now of the meters, divide the seconds into the meters basically. So all you have to do to make this work out nicely is just simply put this over one. So in other words, you're gonna convert this value of kilometers into meters. You're gonna convert this number of hours, one hour into seconds. And then you're gonna do the division between those two values, all right? So let's do that quickly. So we got 124.88 kilometers. Kilometers on the bottom, meters on the top. For every 1,000 meters, that's one kilometer. See you later, kilometer. So you just gotta take that value and multiply it by 1,000. Now, when you do this, you know, uh, try not to round it to the end of the calculations, all right? But this will work out to be 100, excuse me, uh, 124,880, you know, if you round now, it'd be one, you know, or don't round, it'd be 0. 0.1736. You know, just look at the value you got from there. That's the exact number I'm using, all right? Uh, that's in meters. So that was the end of step one. Now, step two. And let's move this on over a little bit so we have a little more space. Okay, I'll do step two here. Is now gonna be to take the one hour and convert that into seconds. Now we already know how many seconds there are in an hour, right? Hours on the bottom, seconds on the top. For every one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So you can do that quickly now. Bada bing, bada boom, this is gonna be 3,600 seconds. Okay, and now for the grand finale, take the meters that you have the 124,881.736 blah, blah, blah meters, divide it then by the 3,600 seconds. And that's gonna get you now meters per second, all right? So let's do that division on out. And we come up with a value of 34.689, uh, right? 689, yeah. And that's gonna be now in meters per second. All right, so we round all the way at the end to the five significant figures. The reason being is because we basically have five significant figures in the given distance value. This kind of also goes out to five sig figs kind of, but well, quite honestly, who cares, right? Who cares? Anyway, those would be the two answers in kilometers per hour and meters per second. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. If this video has helped you out at all, give us a hand just by simply hitting the subscribe button and liking the video and telling your friends, all right? Really does help us out tremendously. We really appreciate your support. We wouldn't be here without you. Take care.